the Italian three are where we had the big game of the day. Super shocker. If anyone bet for AC Milan to win, no one saw AC Milan winning at Napoli 4 0. What a game. What a demonstration. Is it a preview of what we're going to see in the Champions League? I'm going to be honest. I'm going to say no because Victor Osman did not even play. So let's not pretend that it was full squad. But still, losing 4 0 at home against AC Milan. That, that's a huge deal. That's a huge moral boost and a huge confidence for AC Milan that's going to face them in the Champions League. Or it can be a double-edged sword. It can make AC Milan feel like, oh, we got the number. We're going to win in the Champions League. And then Napoli can literally take care of business in the Champions League. Also, we are Iceland Roma defeating Sampdoria 3-0. Monta lost at home to Lazio. La Spesa and Salernitana 1-1. Um, Bologna defeated Udinese 3-0. On the table in Italy, still first and crown champion, uh, self crown champion, already crowned and champion. I don't think anybody can catch them. There's Napoli uh, and then Lazio Roma. Those plays switch every week pretty much. Lazio Roma second, AC Milan third, AS Roma fourth, Inter Milan fifth, Atalanta and Juve. Uh, that's it for the Italian Serie A. And uh, yeah, that was my quick run around of the league tables in every five major leagues. Uh, let me know who's your favorite to win it on in England. Is this is this in a race? Or should we wait for until City face Arsenal again to know? We're going to wait for after that game to have a clear picture. Is it over in Spain between Barcelona and Real Madrid? Is Barcelona definitely winning the league? In France, who's going to win? Lance is second now to Paris Saint-Germain, who lost back-to-back -back now at the Parc des Princes. It's been a long time since it had happened. Um, can Marseille challenge them? And in Germany, is Bayern Munich the only lonely king in Europe? Or can Borussia Dortmund challenge them in any way, shape or form? So that was it for me. And I'll see you guys on the next one.